Hi, this is Karthik from WPAlgorithm.com. Yes, it's WP Algorithm with D instead of TH in its spelling. And I make WordPress tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress locally on your computer. It can be a Mac or a Windows machine. It doesn't matter. As I have Mac, I'll show you how to do that on my Mac. It's the same for Windows, except you have to download .exe file for Windows. So you just go to localbyflywheel.com. This is the software that you need to install WordPress locally. I can clearly say that this is one of the most efficient and easiest software to develop WordPress websites locally. So go to localbyflywheel.com. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You don't need the pro version. You just click on free download and here it will prompt you to choose your platform. I'll just pick Mac. I'll fill out all the details and I'll just click on get now and I'll click on get now and the download starts. I'll get back once the download finishes. So locate the place where you've downloaded the file. It's a DMG for Mac and .exe for Windows. So just double click on it and all you need to do is to follow on screen instructions. And remember on Mac you need to have admin privileges to install software. So make sure you have the credentials or the password for admin. So once I double click on it, it'll open up the pop-up box. It shows something like this. I'll just drag it into my applications list. It's now being copied or moved to my applications. It's about 600 MB. Also make sure you have over a GB space on your hard drive to install this. So once this is done, can then go back to applications click on local and it will verify and it will install the rest of the application so on mac you'll have this warning on mac os uh, catalina or something so you just click on open and it will start the installation process it will then ask you if you want to share your information you can click on no and you can close this pop-up and that's it your local is now installed now we're ready to use our software let's create a site Let's call it WP Freedom. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a local name. It can be the name of your domain itself. Let's call it WP Freedom. I'll just give it a site name and then I'll hit continue here. Give it a username and password. Since it's a local site, you can give a simple username and password. And remember when you move it to a live site, which I'll show in another video, you have to change the username and password to something different or difficult so that users won't be able to use brute fa force attacks to target your website anyway since it's a local site since only we can access it on computer we'll just give it a username and password it's admin admin it's also email you don't have to necessarily give it click on add site it'll install all the components that it requires to run a wordpress site so your wordpress site generally needs a server and a database server for doing all sorts of stuff such as updating the database with uh, all the information on your Mac you'll be asked to give your password I'll type my password here I'll just click on OK it will download the WordPress it will download the database and all the required tools you don't have to get into technical part of it and it's also quite easy to move it from the local site to your live site which I'll show in another video this is free and you can experiment and learn WordPress on local sites and you can move the same site to your live site. So that's an advantage of having. So now my WordPress is installed and you can click on admin and it will open up the admin page where it will ask us to log in and just like that we have created our local site. That's it. You just hit your credentials that you just gave. You can click on never. So it just opened up my um, website as you can see it just gave a wpfreedom.local url you can also change this url here's our brand new wordpress site here you can start experimenting and do all sorts of stuff let's actually close this or i'll just log out from here i'll minimize this i'll actually change the site domain to a realistic one it doesn't have to exist you can simply give any name and you can then move it to a live site with a different name doesn't matter so i'll just call it wpfreedom.com just to make it a bit more realistic again it will ask me for my password i'll type my password and there i have it and in ssl you can click on trust to make sure that you don't get 
your not secure warnings on your local site while you're doing it on your live site anyway you'll be having your ssl certificate either from a host or you can get it free online anyway so i just clicked on trusted I, i'll just click on admin again it will take me to the url it's basically wpfreedom.com hyphen wp admin wp hyphen admin i'll log in again with my credentials and there i have it there i have my brand new website you can now see that it's wpfreedom.com and i don't have a warning right now since we've clicked on trust certificate in ssl settings right you just click on ssl and click on trust and all that and there are few uh, utilities for you to handle and that's pretty much it this is how you create a wordpress site locally <laughs> within like 2 minutes i guess if you want to create another site just click on this plus button at the bottom corner let me bring it to my viewport so as you can see that it's showing there is one site uh, running you can also enable live link so people with the link can actually see what's on your local uh, site so you can enable that if you want to add another site again give it another name and in advanced options just change the domain and there is an option called blueprint so if you've previously saved a blueprint or basically a set of tools if you have already uh, working on a site that's pre configured you can use blueprint option or you can simply just choose the option that i showed you so it's that easy installing wordpress locally and i think local by flywheels is one of the most efficient solutions and guess what on this local site you can even install and activate elementor pro by using the method i have shown you earlier i'll leave a link to that video you can basically install um, many uh, pro plugins and activate them as well even if you don't activate them on your local site you can test them out before you move them to the live site and then activate it it's all up to you anyway so this is how you install wordpress locally by local by flywheel it's the easiest solution there is another way of doing it i'll show you in a later video that's it for now again if you're new to this channel this is wp algorithm with d in the spelling Here we make wordpress tutorials for beginners if you're new to the channel make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you didn't already